One of the main challenges facing humanity nowadays is uh, uh, the mm, diminished ability of countries to act together in a way that is effective. Uh, the world is facing many problems and many threats that no country can tackle acting alone from climate change to terrorism to criminal networks to pandemics. You need to work with other countries. You need the horrible word that is used, which is multilateralism, uh, which is easy to bash and it's easy to make fun of and it's easy to disdain. You know, this is the jargon of diplomacy and it's boring and it's slow moving and it's ineffectual. But we need that. We need uh, countries acting together to solve problems because otherwise the problems will not get solved. So at the same time that because of globalization and growth and technology and culture changes and a bunch of other things, the need for collective action, uh, for countries working together, collectively uh, tackling a problem, the need for that has increased. But the capacity of the world to do that is either stagnant or declining. The demand for collective action is soaring, the supply is stagnant or declining. That deficit is very dangerous. I have called it the most, def the most dangerous deficit in the world. In economics, when, you, when demand outstrips supply, you end up having inflation. In geopolitics, when this happens and the demand for uh, global public goods uh, outstrips by far the ability of the world to provide them, you get a lot of people dead. America's role abroad can only be as strong as the ability of Americans to get together and develop uh, more of a consensus and less of a fragmented way of looking at the world.